Hello, Mike Fox. Well, here with our favorite shaman, Vuthix, who is currently level 50... 69. Okay. And do the cooking daily. One of my least favorite cooking dailies. Right. Now, off to North Ren. I think it's this one. Orient Tundra, here we go. Usually we tell it where we tell you where it is. Oh, we can make growth sculpting and roasted work. Let's make a fire. Of course, you need to level 70 to use this, but what the heck. You can still cook it at 69. Hmm. I don't want to rather use that and put that in a guild bank. Yes, yes. We can't want to use a joke still. Herbalism is at three seventy four. Okay, we're in good shape here. Uh, 
Come on. Today looks. Thank you. See where we can go here. And of course you're going to make it go right back where we came from. What can we get? What can we get? Uh, intellect mail. Okay. We got better than that. Four, five, six, six is. And now we get to go to Count Tunkale. Tunkale are the horn like creatures with the flat faces rather than the uh, slightly more expressive. Let's go this way first.
And more of these that we need to kill. Thankfully, it doesn't appear that there are anyone. There, there's anyone out here competing with us. Of course, it's nine in the morning here, so. a rare day off during the week. Okay, so we got enough of those. of weapons that we don't really need so whatever is the most expensive 10 1078 1082 you got it all right so now we got to kill this guy here he's in this cave it again. Got neck. And let's see, we got a finger with critical strike and attack power. Yeah, we'll take that. And why we're working with the Nega now is beyond me. She's giving me a bluff increasing swim speed, but I no longer need that since I can fly. I can fly! Okay. Wouldn't matter anyway, I'm a shaman, I can run over water. But imagine not being able to fly and not being able to run over water, and you can see how long it would take to get here. Oh, 
Ah, it was quick. Okay. Do the uh, the flying argument for Warlords of Drainer. Uh, I'm kind of on the side that is disappointed that uh, you have to go through a whole series of tasks before you can fly. I mean, this is the first time that they've done that kind of thing. And before you you had to get to that next level or you know pay a certain amount of gold for it. Now you have to go through the entire all the quests to get the achievements and it's it, that's a time consuming process. I mean it, it's to me it's kinda of pointless. Gimme flight, let me pay for it. If you wanna wait till max level, that's fine. Person's, this person, this uh, entity is actually below water, or below the ice block there. Seems like he's a, a big elite there, but then you poke him with a stick and boom, he's down to 13,000 health. And you, he's still elite, so he will punch hard. Do some damage. Okay, but yeah, um, as far as flight and Draenor goes, uh, Draenor, uh, I don't understand what, why they're making us go through this and why they want to do this in the future. I mean, yeah, they, they developed all this content that they want us to see before they, they reward us with flight. But, you know, that kind of goes against everything that they've done before. So, just give us flight. Why is that so hard? So next, we go up to we head north. And we are almost at level 70. Well, halfway between 69 and 70, so. Somewhere else here. Just making friends left and right here. Okay, these are the loot craze hunters. Alright, gotcha. Let's 
do a little water walking here. Well, I'm in the area, we may as well do a little fishing. I can't tell with that buff on there where it's landing. There we go, okay. This amber ledge. And for a flight path, they have this big old dragon. It's kind of neat actually, flying that dragon in supersonic speeds. Okay. So that's it for that. Let's head out here. Okay, he was in there and he was, he apparently was un unable to hearth while he was in there, so he immediately hearthed. Okay. Alright, this is one of the more annoying quests because you, you literally have to drag them up this ramp here so you have to find one first let's see and then you have to weaken them And then you get dragged them all the way up there. The thing is, if you do fly and all that kind of stuff, you 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 break the chain and lose them, so best to just walk.
Alright, now we get to torture. There's a lot of torture in that expan this expansion. A lot of torture. Anyway, the point is we torture this prisoner who... That's information to give. Apparently this must do some major damage. There we go. And now that we've tortured this poor soul, we're going to casually walk out and hand in another quest. Now, does that desensitize me to torture? Hell no. Because I know that this is just a game. I see a real human being tortured. I'm gonna stand up for that person. since she destroyed the key. Been a while since I've done it. Oh, it's broken key. Okay, there it is. Never mind. Alright, so now we go back here. And they're going to repair the key, and then we have to go back. Yada yada yada. Ad nauseum. I gotta speak to this dragon here. He's gonna use his, her breath. <laughs> 